Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now those of you that follow the channel know that usually I use WD Red hard drives on my network attached storage solutions such as the Kinap 231 Plus right over here. But it happens that Toshiba just released their new NAS grade hard drives, the N300 model and spoiler alert, they have a great, great performance. They are silent and cheaper. So let's take a look at them. And we are back. So starting as always on any of my videos with your very quick unboxing experience. As you can see on screen, there's not much that I can say. It comes in a nice package uh, and it comes very well protected, but that is it regarding the unboxing. Now moving to the specifications, this is a NASH grade hard drive designed for multi-rate systems. This is a 7200 RPM with 128 megs of cache and uh, if you want to read more uh, specifications I will leave a link down below on the comment section uh, so that you can go directly to the Toshiba website and check it out now moving on to the speed test which is something that I know that you are curious of I have three units right over here that I did test them out and compare with the WD red which is as I said on the intro the ones that I usually use and starting with the inner tech dock uh, to see the single performance of each drive as you can see on screen uh, by now starting with the WD Red, uh, once again in a single disk configuration we can get roughly 140 megabytes per second on write and 140 megabytes per second on read which is not bad for a uh, NAS uh, grade uh, hard drive. Now when I swap with the Toshiba N300 take a look at that I was really happy and surprised to see a NASH grade hard drive getting 200 megabytes per second both on writes and on reads which is just amazing now uh, the last hard drives that I tested were desktop and this was the kind of speeds that we are getting so we have a NASH great hard drive right of here getting uh, desktop speeds. Now I also was curious to see how it handles in RAID 0 uh, through USB 3.0 so I used the Terramaster D2 310 and as you can see on screen as well guys uh, comparing with the WD RED which are the ones that I usually use as I said I can get 265 megabytes on writes and 280 megabytes per second on reads using two WD RED hard drives in a RAID 0 uh, configuration. Now when I move to the Toshiba N300, guess what? We can reach 400 megabytes per second on writes and 400 megabytes per second on read so they scale uh, really well uh, when using RAID 0. We are using RAID uh, um, hardware configuration by the way. Now um, usually we don't use uh, NASH hard drives and I don't advise to use, uh, to use uh, NAS hard drives on single disk configurations with a USB dock or a RAID configuration but at this moment if you ask me hey Robert should I get the Seagate that you reviewed last week or the uh, Toshiba Hand 300 which is supposed to be a NAS unit but I wanted to use it as a desktop my answer is why not because the price is very competitive and the speeds that we get out of it are very similar even superior to some desktop hard drives now let's move on to the NASH that I've got right over here, the Kinap 231 Plus, uh, which is where we are going to use this type of um, hard drives. And as you can see on screen guys, our um, speeds using the WD Red uh, dropped to 100, 108 megabytes per second, not megabits, 108, 105, 100 megabytes per second, which are equal to a gigabit connection, which is what I've got here at home. And when I switch to the Toshiba N300, guess what? We get the, exactly the same uh, speeds because my limitation here is my switch and my network that I cannot uh, take use of the speeds of the Toshiba N300 and also I cannot use the link aggregation available on the KeyNap 231 Plus. 
So in conclusion, guys, what I can say so far is that this Toshiba uh, NAS grade hard drive is great not only to be used in a NAS solution, but also if you have some kind of desktop operation that takes 24-7 usage, these hard drives are ready for that. Uh, so if you have an intensive, intensive task and you still want something that delivers great speeds, probably the Toshiba N300 are a great solution. Now, in my particular case, I'm really happy with the speed. I'm happy with the speeds of my NASH uh, units, but I will have to figure a solution so that I can use a link aggregation and can take advantage of also not only the Kinap 231 Plus and other units that I've got with link aggregation, but also the high performance of the Toshiba N300, which once again, in my opinion, they are great. The only thing that I cannot state right now is in terms of durability. I know that WD Red are great in terms of that. I have no doubt that Toshiba did their best and I will give them, as I did with WD, I will give them a chance to prove themselves if they are durable or not. So those of you that watch the video right now, I cannot answer you that, I'm sorry. But those of you that will watch this video in six months, one year, two years, three years, feel free to uh, comment down below and asking me, hey Robert, how is the durability of the uh, new Toshiba's N300, which by then they will not be new. Guys, this is it. Hopefully this video will help you to decide which hard drive you will use. And if you have any questions, once again, and just leave them down below in the comment section. Hopefully it was helpful and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.